What's going on? Dude? How you doing, man? I'm good, brother. How you feeling? You having fun? Loving it. Thanks for inviting me, man. Barry Bonds, the Overlander. <laughs> Who would have ever guessed? Let's go. Let's roll. Uh huh. It's your time. Like Steve McQueen, I'm in the fast lane when the light turns green. And I built tough, I ain't nothing but grit. Cause I made rugged blood, sweat, and spit. Yeah, like a horse I fly, gonna push yourself in for a bumpy ride. I like to play hard, but I work harder. And I weather the storm, cause I'm built stronger. I was born to run, I was built to last, I was made for speed, cause I was born fast. So as many of you guys have seen, not just on my own feed, but on Barry's and a lot of other folks, Barry's new to the overlanding community and he has built himself one heck of a rig. But before we get to the rig, I just want to ask Barry and let you guys all hear it for yourselves. What is it about overlanding that has gained your interest? Why do you like to overland? Well, first, uh, YouTube got me interested in it, man. So, you know, during the whole COVID thing, you know, everyone's looking for things to do. Right. Even myself, you know, because I wasn't traveling, trying to be careful and everything, and wait until I got vaccinated and all that other stuff. And so, I just started watching YouTube, and I, I've always been a hunter, and I like the outdoors, and my family's been outdoor people. But you know, my life took me in a different direction with baseball, so I didn't really have a lot of time. You played ball. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and fortunately. Yes. But, um, so as I was, I started watching YouTube a lot, and I came across you and your wife and your daughters. And I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. He's got his family with him. And not to make a, you know, long story out of it, but I, I you know, I've always related camping like a family event. Because my grandparents did that with us. They took us in their little camper here and there, go fishing and stuff. I wasn't overly interested in it at, at the, the time, time, but right. they, you know, they still did it. And um, so I was on Instagram, which I rarely ever did at the time. I'm, I'm on it now more than I've ever been before. And, you know, I would just, oh, wow, that's cool. I like it, you know, but I hit follow. And all of a sudden you sent me back a message going, mm -hmm. hey, Mr. Bonds, it's great meeting you. I mean, thanks for following our channel. I think that things something like that. And I was like... I went to my daughter, I was like, who is this dude? Someone got on my phone, we gotta get rid of my phone, throw it in the garbage, you know, change the number, all this other stuff. And my daughter said, no, dad, you hit follow. Um, and I go, who's this junkie? And he goes, dad, you're following them. That's the overlanding family that you're from. I said, really? And I'm like, that's cool. <laughs> so I sat there and then um, when you, after you sent me your message, I sat there and I go, hey, I follow you on Instagram. I mean, on YouTube and, and on Instagram. And I was going, that's cool. And then you responded back and said, you know, I said, you know, I'd like to go camping or something like that. And then you responded back and said, yeah, let's get together or something like that. And you said, send me the information. I said, no, you send me your information <laughs> and I'll get back to you. And that's Yeah, like people me. check us out. <laughs> yeah. And, that, and I felt safe. That was the thing that got me into it is because you were with your daughters and you made it into like this big family Thing. your right. daughters have jeeps you guys have jeeps and you guys went out and i was like that's cool i never really understood overlanding because no one's ever had like their kids or families like a lot of them don't right and you had all your daughters you all were doing stuff so it made me feel safe so when we got in contact i felt i feel safe and then you you sat there and said well, let's get together and i said let's do it real soon 
and then I just didn't want my rig to out really look bad compared to your rig. <laughs> so Barry's rolling a 2021 uh, Land Rover Defender, mm -hmm. and we're just going to do a quick little walk around on it and show you guys some of the upgrades he's done, and he's nowhere near done. Some of the stuff that he's told me he's doing, which is, I've been sworn to secrecy, <laughs> so we'll keep that for a future video. Uh, but what he's done to it right now makes us a very, very capable rig. Um, and I thought you guys might want to see uh, what's going on with uh, Barry Bond's rig. So uh, we're going to get up. We're going to do a quick little walk around. We'll let Barry tell us uh, what he's done. And uh, uh, we'll leave it at that until the next video. But I'm glad and happy that, uh, you know, you've joined us on this trip. What have you thought so far with this trip out in the it's desert? Amazing. I mean amazing i've driven by this desert many times in my life and never came in it and what you guys have done with 40 i mean i think there's 40 or 40, 40 rigs and rigs here yeah and mostly are two or more people and they brought their kids it's, it's just been a, a, a great event so for my not my first time my very first time ever overlanding camping was with you guys right if you guys want to actually see it it's uh daniel's first ursa minor um, adventure on YouTube and you'll I'll put the link in right yeah, now you'll see my uh, defender in there and I do have to thank you Daniel because I told Daniel you cannot videotape me you can't do anything I don't know you guys yep. I don't want to do YouTube and he respected that and I said if you do that then any event that you do next time I'll come on your YouTube and I really appreciate you and I, I thank you for respecting my privacy during that fact too. It's so. it's our pleasure Barry you are a true wholesome guy and uh, you know uh, you, you did a I don't mean to drag this out I like to ramble as y'all know but the, <laughs> Barry did a, a podcast about a month or so ago and uh, there's a lot to you, and people like to hear your story, and uh, you're about as down to earth as uh, anybody else that's out here. So I appreciate you, and so does everybody else. Thank so you, buddy. let's take a look at this rig right now. Uh, roof rack and the rooftop tent, are you rocking? Well, I'm rocking the Condor XL Roof Nest Condor. Um, they're out of Colorado, uh, Tim, the owner. Um, I made a phone call to them and ordered it, and they sent it out to me. Um, it's really big. It holds three to four people really good. Three big people, and I need a lot of space. So that was one of the things I wanted to do because I had a ground gazelle tent at first when we when um, I went out with Daniel on the first adventure, and I wanted to get off the ground. So I called up Tim um, at Roof Nest and, and ordered the Roof Nest. And that's sitting on what kind of a rack? It it's sitting on the Defender rack, the uh, adventure rack from Defender. Um, that you can order online with Defender. Um, everything else on my Defender is uh, I did with Lucky 8, Lucky 8 Off-Road. So right here, you're gonna say the Lucky 8 uh, rock sliders that I put on with Lucky 8. Um, the installer is uh, Tim Scully, Scully Off-Roading off that installed everything, but Lucky 8 is the, the company that I got everything. I put 35s on here, uh, KO2s with uh, Redborn wheels. Um, I added uh, two inch um, lift rods from uh, also Lucky 8 um, for the vent defenders because we're on air suspension. So you have lift rods that could be one inch or two inches uh, are just the ones that they come with. So I got with the 35s, I needed the extra height on it. Um, also, I got a, a Warren uh, winch, um, back to 55, um, Lucky also did it where it's actually built into my actual frame of my car. That is really clean. And I like the way that looks. And all the sensors are connected. Everything works as the manufactured for your car. Very cool. Uh, so far as the ladder goes, I'm still using the Defender ladder that comes with Defender. Um, so technically right now, I only utilize it to wash off my tin on the top. So it just pops out. You just push it here, come here, and I'm 210 pounds, 215 around, and it holds my weight like nothing. So I can get up with my tents down if I wanted to actually put some things on top. I can install it with the ladder. And then it just folds back up and goes away. Very cool. So on the back here, 
So then I have the garb um, from North Carolina Exposition. I believe the virtual is his name. I watched his YouTube, so that's how yeah. I ended up getting this. Um, I have uh, the two two-gallon uh, roto roto packs here, um, just attached to, to to my car, and I'm going to do some more modifications to my car. I'm actually going to do the dual battery system and some other things, and I, I'll let you guys know that with Daniel probably later on once we go out again. And um, other than that, right now, oh, I also have. Uh, the linear laser lights in the back, sixes. I have the front ones. I wanted it to be kind of, I live in a town city more so, so I kind of like don't want it to stand out too much. So I kind of blended them in with my roof rack. And then I also have the KC rock lights underneath that I can turn the lights on if you want to see it. And it also is Bluetooth with my, my phone. All right, guys, so that's Barry Bond's rig, and it is an impressive one. I'll tell you, it's uh, what's even more impressive is hanging out with this guy. Uh, I mean, uh, well, a little uh, bit taller than you just, are. <laughs> just a bit. He, he likes to give me a hard time, and I like giving it right back to this guy. Uh, He's a true good. champion, and uh, Barry, I really appreciate your friendship. You. I appreciate going overland with you, and I can't wait to do some more trips. And uh, until then, guys, I hope you liked the video. There will be a lot more coming uh, once he gets all of his installs and modifications done that uh, he's gonna do. And there's quite a bit of them. So <laughs> until then, hope you liked the video. Give Barry Bonds a follow on Instagram. What's your Instagram handle? BL Bonds 25. Like he needs any of my help. <laughs> like he needs any of my help, right? So in, in any case, it's been a true pleasure. It's, it's been fun camping with you and uh, we'll see you down the road. Flying through the sky in my parachute Dancing on the couch like I'm Tommy Cruise On a one-man mission trying to see it through, yeah I got the password, yeah I finally got the password Added up the numbers, now the math works I got the way to make the path work All these lights turning from red to green Time is everything And it feels so good to shine Like every day, no more working at O'Reilly. I had to rock the boat so I could ride the wave. Yeah, I got the password.